friends! I just finished doing like a mini pick a card reading for new love and I wanted to come on and do a reading for you. I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm going away for a few days. <laughs> um, so I may have some videos that I post while I'm away. I may not. I may post while I'm away. I may not. I'm gonna let my intuition guide me. <laughs> Anyway, I did a singles reading today, so I wanted to come on and see what spirit has for you. I did another reading with my new deck from Sarah, the Citadel Oracle, um, but I think I'm going to hold on to that one and post it tomorrow um, because the new love one was like a spontaneous reading that I wasn't planning. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's coming towards you. We do have passion right away. Insane chemistry, sparks, having fun, equal interest, burning desire. Maybe somebody has a burning desire for you. Oh, we have clarity and truth, revelations. Interesting. It feels like someone's going to communicate some kind of truth. Interesting. So we'll see what comes out. Hang on. I needed a Kleenex. <laughs> I always have Kleenex in my pocket. <laughs> oh, right. I'm still shuffling. I hope you guys are doing well. We have someone missing you. Missing you. Looking at pictures. Missing you. Nostalgia. So this person could be looking at pictures of you right now on their phone. Interesting. I need to get a new word. <laughs> That's fascinating. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> mm, I think not. <laughs> so we do have um, hammer, sabotage and rebuild, persistent, working on it, repairing. So we do get the energy that this is the connection that you'd like to repair. And what just flipped over is amazing. The dragonfly. So perhaps this person has healed. We have things coming to light and healing, change, finding out. Interesting. So let's see what's happening. Oh, oh my gosh, I said it. Love call. This is somebody who wants to talk to you. I told you. Love call. Expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you and informing you that they're thinking of you. They're looking at the pictures, six of cups energy. They're longing for you. They're thinking about you. They're healing and they're going to come in and tell you this. So interesting. You could feel like you're not enough for this person. I just saw the not enough card. We also have poker face. Taking a chance. So this person taking a chance, risks and options. Taking a gamble. So let's see what else. Interesting. That's a clear message coming through. So here we have girl with a snake and we have partying and right away I'm getting 333 on the timer. I'm getting the energy that perhaps this is someone who spent a lot of time partying, a lot of time focusing on themselves, a lot of time being social, being out with friends. Perhaps you felt like an option. Perhaps you felt like you were being used or let on, played, whatever it is. We do have new beginnings and liberation, reborn and transformations. So through endings come rebirths. And, you know, perhaps this person needed an ending with you to, you know, leave that partying. I'm getting like bachelor, bachelorette vibes um, in someone who's independent, happy to be single. You know, perhaps when you guys met because of that attraction, perhaps this person didn't know they wanted, you know, commitment or to settle down with you. So interesting. We have Phoenix. <laughs> we have the chaser. You don't want to chase this person anymore. See, I see you. Very clear message here. Divine timing needs time. Divine timing time to heal, progression. I feel like you were chasing this person and you had no choice but to ground yourself. Um, 
you know, maybe this person wasn't stable. Maybe this person wasn't giving you stability, wasn't giving you commitment. Um, interesting. We do have getting back out there and meeting someone new. So perhaps, you know, you're already talking to someone new or perhaps this is someone... It does say dating online. Um, perhaps you are starting to see other people. Um, this person, I just heard that for some of you, when this connection ended, they may have ran out and tried to find someone else, date someone else right away. And, you know, that never ends well because you just bring the baggage in with you. Um, so, yeah, we have talking. This person wants to talk to you. I told you. We have talking, interested, awaiting messages, texts, calls, email, talking more. Why are they upside down? Oh, it's a reflection. Hmm. Mirrors. <laughs> Look, they're upside down. I couldn't figure it out. It's because it's a reflection in the water. <laughs> and we have coffee cup, meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building a friendship. So maybe you and this person, this person says, hey, do you want to be friends? Do you want to see if we could be friends? They just want your energy. They just want your energy. We have camera, reminiscing, learn from the past, perception, making memories, six of cups, energy. We'll get one more from this deck. One more. Separation. This person misses you. Oh my gosh, we have the butterfly. <laughs> separate <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my energy right now separation sadness bitter bitterness missing you thinking about you uncertain about future if you were looking for a sign and you said a cactus there you go this person could be prickly um oh my gosh we have healing heart healing heartbreak toxicity or addiction abusive relationship so you could have experienced some of the some of this in the past, not necessarily with this person, maybe with other people in your past, maybe your parents, maybe this person triggered that. We did have that mirror energy. Oh my gosh. We have the butterfly evolve, evolving and growth, next phase, healing inner child, releasing the past, and soulmate, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. I'm getting a little red. Interesting. You know what that means. <laughs> that means I'm feeling somebody's energy. Someone who's nervous about coming towards you. Interesting. Hmm. Let's get on with it. I am getting very red. All right, so let's see what comes out of this deck. What do you need to know here? What do you need to know? Oh my goodness. I'm looking at what's hidden from you right now in this situation. So what is hidden from you? We have family, fertility, parenthood, pregnancy. So this person could be, you know, spending a lot of time with their family. This could be someone that thinks about having a family with you. And perhaps um, sometimes you feel like maybe they don't think about that. Interesting. You could end up having a child with this person. We do have dishonesty, deception, trickery. So for some of you, this person may have deceived you in the past. Um, perhaps you know about this, but this person actually hasn't told you yet. Um, if you're an empath or you're highly intuitive, I feel like you already know there's something this person needs to tell you. We also have <laughs> healing, releasing, purifying, cleansing. So this is someone... Who is healing right now? I think your person may be nervous. Um, interesting. And we have sorrow. This person is in five of cups energy, loss, grief, depression. They're missing you. <clears throat> I do. I feel very, um, I feel their energy. Interesting. Oh my goodness. We have heart fog, mixed signals, blocked emotions, I messed up. I messed up. Unfortunately, sometimes people don't realize they made a mistake until after they've made the mistake, you know? So let's keep going. 
Oh my gosh, look at what we have on the bottom. This person is longing for you, craving, aching, wanting. Is that why I'm getting all red? Shocking! <laughs> That's why it hit me in the face or tried to. Shocking, unexpected. So I feel like this is someone who's being very silent with you and you're going to hear from them unexpected. I feel like this person is going through a lot of problems in their life right now, if I'm being honest. Um, they could be experiencing a lot of tower moments in their life. Yeah, we definitely have. Remember that, remember that image earlier with the grounding? We have balance, harmony, friendship. So this person wants something with you here. And we have confessions, unveiling, coming clean messages. So you have a few cards about communication here. I don't normally react like this energetically unless I'm picking up on nervous energy from someone. Look at it. Look at the red. I couldn't hide how I felt in school. Like people would say, Kelly, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's getting worse. <laughs> Interesting. I can always tell when I'm feeling someone else's energy. I am going to pause it for a minute. Hang on. <laughs> so I tried to wait for it to go away, but it's not going away. And like I said, I get this. Like I feel like I'm on fire. I get this when somebody's nervous. Um, especially about coming clean about something, about having a conversation. Interesting. It's not going away, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> um, a crossroads exploration. Interesting. So I grabbed the Citadel deck, and I thought I'd see what came out because when I did that reading earlier, which, interesting, I just cut open to this, which you won't see until tomorrow probably, but I was able to get a lot of intuitive information from these cards, intuitive downloads. So we have the runaway and I feel like you are dealing with someone who is running away from learning a spiritual lesson, hierophant energy. They could have been running away from commitment, running away from being caged like a bird. Um, secrets, running away from problems. So this person could have, you know, no, oh, I love this deck. This person could have not wanted to be caged, had fear of commitment, um, not wanted to look at their shadows. And here we have the Herald, regrets and longing. I told you this person's longing for you. This is someone who's having a lot of realizations about you in this connection. Um, very interesting. I was going to say on the bottom, crossroads and exploration. So that's showing someone at a crossroads in their life, trying to determine which way they want to go. Do they want to, you know, come back towards this? Or do they want to move on? We have delivering news. See what I mean? There's This is why I'm so red. This is what happens when someone... This is someone who's really nervous about this. Nervous that there's no second chances here. Or that they've gone too far is what I'm hearing. Or that they've burned the bridge. We have radical changes taking control. So yeah, I'm going away this weekend and I'm torn if I want to take decks and do readings. I kind of do. <laughs> I really do. I really do. So twice I saw a card about projection. So this could have been someone who projected onto you. Take it as it resonates. All right, we haven't even gotten into tarot yet. So let's see what comes out. Interesting, I was just looking at that card. So we have the painter, productivity, and creation. So you could have tapped into your creative potential through this connection is what I'm hearing, as often happens with spiritual connections. Um, you could be a painter or your person could be a painter or an artist in some way. I'm seeing wands energy. Um, we do have productivity. So I feel like if you are working on your creative endeavors, 
that this person is actually working on themselves. Um, it's energetic. I'm still. And people wonder why I was teased in high school. <laughs> mm. We have, oh my goodness. We have, there's a lot of growth happening right now, okay? So we have a lot of results about to happen. These cards that have, these cards that have the triangle on them mean achievement. And things are being achieved here. And this one represents growth and development. And we have the walker, the unknown, a journey. And to me, it feels like two people who are surrendering to this beautiful journey, even though they don't know how it will end. Um, I feel two people kind of taking a leap of faith towards this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hmm. We have awareness and reflection. I told you. <laughs> Delivering news after reflection. <laughs> this is someone who's been reflecting about this, who has more self-awareness now. Um, it's interesting because this person could be watching you. I don't know why I'm hearing that. And it says the waker. So this is someone who's awakening. <laughs> And yeah, delivering news and collaboration. Let's get one more. Or, you know, we can get that many. We have, oh, this came out before. The alchemist, balance, inve invention, destruction. So sometimes a foundation needs to be destroyed so it can be rebuilt. And we also have overthinking and taking action. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I messed up. I Oh no. All of my cards are now in a pile. Anyway, remember we had the hammer? Remember the hammer came out in that other deck? Rebuilding? Destruction? What deck was it? Was it this one? Yeah, look at that. The hammer overthinking, taking action. So if you're someone who's overthinking, it's because your person wants to take action. If you're someone who's having anxiety, it's because your person is, fe it's you're feeling your person's energy. That's what's going on here. So let's get some tarot about what's coming. Let me just clean up the mess I made a little. I just messed all my cards up, so whatever. <laughs> There's like different types of cards here. Anyway, I chose my tattoo tarot today. So possibly your person has tattoos or you have tattoos. Look right away. We have eight of swords and the moon. We have you and your person, no contact, fear. Your intuition is telling you something is coming, but your fear kicks in and says, no, it's not. And you start gaslighting yourself. We have a renewal coming. Ace of Cups. This is coming. Healing. Star energy. Wish fulfillment. Three of Wands. Forward movement and progression. I know I saw that in one of those cards. Oh, one card just came out. We have the Five of Coins. So I feel like your person is feeling very left out in the cold right now. Very isolated. Ten of Wands, very overwhelmed, very burdened, lots of tower moments, lots of lessons, lots of the universe saying, pivot, pivot. <laughs> we have the Knight of Wands. Do we have a creature who doesn't want to be in a cage like a little bird? Remember that card? We have a runner. Hmm. I'm going to start a new one. I feel like I'm finally returning to normal here. Um, as normal as I could be. <laughs> I 
I'm crazy pants. We have the Hierophant spiritual lesson. What did I say? We saw the key on that card, spiritual lesson. Fear of commitment. Not one to be caged like a bird. That's not what commitment is. And we have the Queen of Swords. So you could have your defenses up, my friend. Okay, let's have a look. We're going to look at you first. We have the Eight of Coins. And the Eight of Coins is very symbolic of two people choosing a connection because they want it to work. It's not easy. But they both keep coming back to it. They both keep wanting to work on it. We do have Queen of Coins. So you could be very stable right now during this um, no contact energy with the hanged man. I just see a pause in this connection for reflection, for healing, for growth. So we're going to look at how you're feeling about this connection. We have the sun and the empress. How are you feeling about this connection? Well, it makes me happy. I love it. I love that person. Maybe they're my divine masculine. They make me happy. I miss their energy. I feel happier when we're together. In a perfect world, we'd have a happy ending. But I've got to look after me, Empress. Eight of Cups. You love this person, but you can't chase them. You can't mother them. You can't... We have, we have the Page of Cups, so this person could be... Hang on. This person, person, this person could be page of cups. This person could be younger than you or just emotionally immature, not wanting to be vulnerable. And you could have walked away because they just, they weren't giving you enough. Page of cups, eight of cups. It's like, to me, they weren't willing to grow or they weren't willing to go within and learn and grow I'm seeing a pentacle um, and I feel like right now you've kind of let them go and you're like well if it's meant to be they'll come back empress energy here comes the sun do do they do do but I feel like you've had to choose yourself interesting or they walked away from you let's see how they're feeling about this mm. I just can't make this up, you guys. <laughs> this, this person feels this connection. They feel a very strong connection with you. They feel like they've showed you the worst side of themselves. And that's why they're afraid about coming in. Um, four of Wands, they see commitment energy with you. They see you as someone they want to give a ring to. Put a ring on it. <laughs> um... It's interesting because I was talking about that card with the caged bird and I said commitment isn't um, being trapped or being in a cage and I instantly thought of the four of wands. I should have said it and I said four of wands energy is when, well, it is commitment, it's marriage, it's celebration, but it's also an energy of feeling free. So even though you're in a commitment, you feel free because you're with someone who lights your soul up, who I feel like this person thinks you're really rare, a rare gem. I have a card that says a rare gem that I'm like seeing and my head hurts. Um, two of cups energy with the roses. You guys think very powerfully of each other. Like, look at how you think about each other. It's crazy. We have the sun and the empress and strength in the four of wands. Like, it's very telling how the two of you feel about each other. We have the knight of cups on the bottom. This is someone who wants to tell you something, who wants to rekindle something with you, and here they are in five of cups energy, just like we saw. They're feeling the loss here. Where is it? It's right here. Meh. Sorrow. 
longing. Hmm. Let's see what the current energy in this connection is. We have temperance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so right now we have the rebalancing of energy here. Temperance. Energies are trying to align things. Dust needs to settle, I'm hearing. The Three of Cups, for some of you, you may be interacting with this person. But I don't know about that for all of you. Um, we do have the Nine of Wands showing perhaps a lot of self-improvement going on here individually. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go near future. I can't make this up. Eight of Wands and the Hierophant. What did I tell you? I told you. I told you I've been red. Look, look, I'm still red. Like, <laughs> this person is afraid of how you're going to react. I did see the Queen of Swords pop out. Look, near future energy. We have communication coming in. We have Hierophant, spiritual lesson learned, commitment, communication about commitment. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, I told you. I told you. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Remember me when it happens. <laughs> that crazy lady told me it would happen. <laughs> Let's see what this communication is about. Two of Pentacles almost wanted to come out. <gasps> Two of Pentacles wanted to come out. Balance between love and work. Oh my goodness. We have Justice and we have the Seven of Cups. So this is someone who wants to communicate with you and bring you clarity about how they made you feel like an option, not a priority. This is someone who wants to confess something to you and unveil a truth to you and apologize for something and balance this connection. <clears throat> Through isolation and regret, this person has had an awakening, is what I'm seeing, and they want to communicate that. Um, well then, let's see what... And, actions this person is going to take even though we already know well that's too many so we have the two of wands and the knight of swords interesting so this is someone who wants to come rushing in oh my gosh this is someone who wants to come rushing in knight of wands the king of swords is also here so it's coming up very clearly this person wants to have a conversation and wants to choose a direction here i know there was I know we had one, and I said I see the two of wands. We also have the... Oh, my gosh! What is happening in this reading? We have the six of wands and the lovers. So this person wants to make you feel seen, make you feel appreciated, make you feel loved, tell you they love you, offer you something, choose you, blah, kiss you, love you, hug you, embrace you. I just can't believe that happened. Those cards fell out and I was like, I'll just look at them one at a time. Lovers? What the heck? Six of cups! Six of cups on the bottom. Six of cups! Six, six, six. <gasps> six, six, six. Not the evil number. I can't believe that. Hang on. 666. Six, six. I'm so weirded out. The first thing I saw was 
As mentioned, 666 holds many meanings in all areas, but especially in your love life. If you keep seeing this number sequence, this is what it might mean for your relationships, according to Kelly. That's really weird to me. Anyway, refocus and find balance in your life. I'm not reading the devil one. There's so many, you know, like I, I try and let my intuition tell me which one. The 666 angel number related to self-love, balance, temperance. 666 is the number for love and romance. So if you see 666, it is a good omen. Anyway, interesting. So we have reconciliation, union, offer of love, hearing from this person. It's all here. So let's see, what does the future hold for the two of you? What does the future... Oh, nine of cups! Feeling free, feeling loved, wish fulfillment, togetherness. I'm hearing um, a song from the old movie, The Parent Trap. That's weird. We get together. <laughs> we get together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. We also have the Queen of Wands and the Magician. So very interesting. I'm going to get another one. <laughs> You're the one that wants to come out. Queen of Wands. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Very interesting. So we have the King of Cups. King of Cups, Queen of Wands, and Ace of Wands. That's a whole lot of passion. That's, you know, new beginnings, especially after a spiritual awakening. We have this person. Remember in the past, they were coming in Page of Cups. Now they're coming in King of Cups with this offer. And they know your worth. And you know your worth. Most importantly, you know your worth. Um, very interesting. I just want to see if Spirit has any last words for you. I feel like I should get something else. What's that card? I can't see it. Hang on. Oh my gosh. The chariot. It's coming. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready <laughs> to be loved? <laughs> the star. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for wish fulfillment and forward movement and progression? Three of Wands. I am going to get a couple more. Whew, this is some good stuff. <laughs> this energy is very interesting. So let's get some of these. Let's just see what comes out. We have Wolf. So you could be dealing with someone. I said it, Bachelor or Bachelorette, Lone Wolf. Um, we have Endings and Beginning, The Wheel. So get ready. Someone's about to turn that wheel. We have Dolphins, Playfulness and Cooperation. We have bear. Bear could be a sign. I feel like that one wants to come out. Strength, resourcefulness, bear energy. And we have ship, directions, journey, receiving messages, receiving news, and house. Oh, you could be relocating. We have house, home, four of wands energy, moving in together. Anything else? Oh, we have the moon cycles and change. Beautiful. So I think I do want to get another one. I'll just intuitively read them. I won't, I won't get the book. We'll just intuitively read them. One. <clears throat> Magician energy. Surrender. Hangman energy. Come on. Oh! <laughs> I'm 
sorry. <laughs> I hate when I do that. I hate it. We have 13 Death and Reaper. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I do talk to in Anna in 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 animate inanimate <laughs> objects I don't know why I said options <laughs> interesting <laughs> let's see what comes out final final guidance final guidance about this connection we have heart home compassion I know that came out yesterday um, there's a lot about home, opening your heart to this person, having compassion for them. And we also have um, temperance energy, be patient, experiencing life as it comes, the drifter. So spirit's kind of saying, follow where this journey is taking you. Um, have an open heart, if you can, for this person. Um, I do feel like this is someone who misses your compassion here. We also have, oh my gosh, the fact that we have compassion and underneath we have bold step forward, fives, and your person was coming up five of pentacles, five of cups, fives inspire change, their actions, hierophant energy, five, bold step forward, this person is leaping towards you. And anytime we see light like that, you guys, I almost called you children again, um, that's your intuition guiding you somewhere, you know? So we have you following your intuition, that light, and them being guided to take action towards you. I think it's interesting because if you look at the imagery, <laughs> sorry, you don't want to see me. If you look on the imagery of this card, it looks like there's a there's some kind of passage there that's closed by the gate. And I feel like you're already down that passage. You've already gone through that. And this person's coming up behind you. This person's bringing up the rear. I don't know what to say there. Oh, dear. We have a whale song. <gasps> Possibility for union. I told you. Possibility for union sky bridge. Are you ready? Are you both are you ready? <laughs> are you both ready to walk up those stairs? I'm seeing at the Hierophant card in the Light Seer's Tarot with the stairs. Um and we do have 61 lovers energy, magician energy. I'm getting world card with this. I'm getting completion of a cycle. Music could be very important between the two of you. Wow, possibility for union. That's amazing. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. That seems like a great place to end. <laughs> anyway, thank you for being here and watching my <laughs> reaction. Um, anyway, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you soon. Bye.